brought to you by Epic Adventure Outfitters. This is a fully assembled Kraken system here. It's got all your features, all your settings and stuff, all ready to just drop in the car, run some hoses, run the wire to the battery, you're good to go. But what we're gonna do differently is we're gonna do the Kraken pressure control upgrade system to it from ARB. So with this, it's gonna be just like one of those old rotisseries back in the day, I think it was called Rompopel. You're gonna set it and forget it. And it's just gonna be done. If you're a competent person, you drank your cup of common sense this morning and you've read our instructions, we'll start off by noticing we've had a bunch of these where the exhaust port on the ARB manifold is not tight out of the box. So you just want to snug that up. Next step, we're going to remove the male pipe fitting on here, as in the instructions, using a 12 mil. Um, you don't have to use a really expensive snap-on wrench, though they are better wrenches. They better be for the money. You can take this, you throw that away. Our next thing is we're going to install our push to connect fittings and the sensor. Now, they will ship and have O-rings, but it never hurts to add a bit more thread sealant to the threads of these three items, which is what we're gonna do now. Just a little bit of that on all your fittings. You're gonna put one of the fittings in the side where you took out that male fitting. You're gonna put the other fitting up top. It's probably gonna be easiest to tighten these two up first. You do not have to refit tight, it will shred the O-ring. So you got those on. Now we've got the sensor. We're gonna put that in the remaining hole as listed in our diagram. We're gonna use a seven eighths because uh, we couldn't afford to buy the 22 snap-on socket or, or wrench. We, uh, we're not made of money here. Maple syrup and bacon is also expensive, especially when it's Canadian bacon. There you go. Oh yeah, that's thread sealant. So now you notice after it's fully assembled, it looks like a crack pipe that an MIT student created for a project. Somehow it's removed the addictive properties. Mm. And it might maintain your teeth. So you gotta get the tape measure. Those are called inches. That's oh. what we use, uh, they're called eagles. Oh, uh, see, you're gonna measure everything. It sounds you know. better if you say you got an eight centimeter. No, no, no. They if just because most got, people can't tell inches to centimeters. If you got four and a half bald eagles there. You're really doing it right. Four and a half bald eagles. Yeah, that's oh, that's that's, that's it. might hit the sweet spot. Nice. Might not hit the bottom, but might hit the sides. Got yeah. it. <laughs> this is the harness that comes with it. We don't need it all. So you're gonna take all the stuff that isn't covered in electrical tape, and you're gonna cut off everything after three inches. If you don't know what three inches is, get a measuring tape or ask your mom. It's been a while since you had a mother joke. Yeah. That's good. There you go. There. Hi, Puffy. Hey. Ta da! Now we're going to strip the wires back. You can use wire strippers or your teeth. I don't judge. You're going to take the negative, you're going to put them together. Twist them nice and tight. One positive, two negatives. Do a math here, people. Here's our new harness for this specific application. Hence these two extra leads on there. The black goes to the black wires. The purple goes to the not purple red wire. Nicely feed that in. If it doesn't go in well, you didn't twist them together very well and you need to do a better job. Now we're gonna use a nice set of crimpers. There's the black. Now we're gonna use the red into the purple. Make sure they don't fall out. Otherwise, you gotta do it again. You're gonna make me use flame instead of a heat gun? Yeah, that's better on film. Since the heat gun is too far away, we're just gonna use fire. Now, it's very delicate. You wanna do this to a nice medium rare. That's good. You do not wanna get it to the well done section. It won't be nice looking. So we're gonna clean that up with our Tessa tape. Uh, you can use electrical tape, or if you don't have any electrical tape, maybe you have some hockey tape around if you're bumming around Canada. I don't know why that's our sport, considering we can't seem to win the championship ever. Nice and clean. Look at that. They are three different lengths for a reason. So why are they? 
So longest straw. The longest straw is going in the side. Make sure it's nice pushed in with the push connect. Can't pull it out. Next. The medium straw goes in the top. Medium straw going in the top. There we go. You feel a pop. Very satisfying. The tiniest straw is going somewhere else later. Now, clearly, we need to run this with some wiring, so we're gonna plug some wiring in. The one with the orange wire is gonna go to the solenoid on the left above the sensor. The purple wire will obviously go next to it, so like this. And if you'll notice, they have Allen keys in here because they're a locking connector. You do not need to use an impact gun on this. It will not be happy. Last thing, pressure sensor connector goes on the pressure sensor. I know, it's like rocket science. So this is now ready to go into your vehicle if you've already had a Kraken previously installed or you're looking at ready to put it into the Kraken that you're assembling to put in with it. For demonstration purposes, we're not doing it in the vehicle. If you haven't seen this yet, I'm sorry, but at least you found this video. You're obviously gonna unplug the tube that goes over to the other side seat that came out of here. You're then gonna unplug this tube and you're gonna take this tube off of the T-fitting that's down here. This tube, no longer needed. We're gonna take off the harness that came with the original Kraken system. Remember that poor little piece of hose? Well, you're gonna take that nice T-fitting we supplied you with. You're gonna put the hose in it. See, doesn't come out. Then you're gonna plug that down to the Y-fitting that was already down there. You take your thing. The shorter line is going to plug down into the top of the T-fitting. Make sure it's plugged in. You hear that satisfying click. Then the other one is gonna go to the right side of this. We supplied you with another red plug. This is gonna go in this T-fitting side where you used to put the hose from the driver's seat. We're gonna connect the new connector and you have the colored diagram. So we're gonna go black, orange, purple. So that's how that looks. Then you're gonna take this connector and you're gonna plug it back in to the A or B twin compressor connector we had before. This wire will all get cleaned up and tidied when we're installed in the vehicle. This is a fully assembled Kraken system with the pressure control upgrade kit all ready to be put in the vehicle for assembly. So this is how it looks before it goes in the car. What's up guys, Sean here from the story till now. If you don't know about the Epic online store, the new one, epic-4wd.com, they have all the stuff you need like Terraflex, Metal Cloak, 67 Designs mounts, all the stuff that we use, everything that you need is at that store. Go check it out. And if you use the link in the description, it helps support my channel. Which I appreciate, thanks guys. We are relocating the crossover tube that goes to the driver's side to the front or back side of the compressor. It plugs into that T-fitting that you installed um, prior, just like so. Boom. All right, so we've got the Kraken installed in the vehicle now, and we've got the pressure control upgrade kit installed on the Kraken. Um, so now you need to grab your, your cell phone of choice, smartphone of choice, um, and head to the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store and download the ARB Compressor Connect app. Once you've got the app, we're going to open that up. It'll ask us if we'd like to use Bluetooth, and in this case, I'm going to say OK. Now, we've got all four tires hooked up to the Kraken system. There's no leaks that we can hear, so that is good. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn on the system should hear nothing. You should hear the fan on the air compressor uh, start to run, um, but no uh, cycling of the actual compressor pump. In the app, it'll take you to the settings screen, and at the very top, we want to click on uh, connect to pressure control. It'll scan for the pressure control module that we just installed. It'll pop up once it's found. We want to click connect to pressure control. Now we have a few settings to change. First and foremost, uh, we prefer to change the unit of measure to PSI. That will change over the max system pressure to 60 PSI, which we find is, is a safe um, 
recommendation. Uh, no tire that's going on a Jeep should really be inflated anywhere near 60 PSI, so that's a good, good safe uh, uh, threshold. Below that, the power on mode. It's very important that we set this to control. That means every time you turn the system on, it will default to that control power mode and it will bring or raise or lower the tire pressure to your target pressure that we'll see on the other page. If you want, you can have an audible alert. So once your pressure threshold is hit, it'll give you a little bing bing sound on your phone um, if you're uh, away from the vehicle. We also recommend that you turn on the allow only if engine running setting. Um, that just allows the compressor to, to work a little bit better, perform better uh, with the voltage coming from the alternator off the engine. So we're gonna go back to the main screen um, and this is where you can set your target pressure. So this is the pressure that we want. I'm looking for about 32 PSI. So I'm just gonna tap on 30 PSI, up two, click OK. Uh, now nothing happens yet because the pressure control mode is currently in pressure off. In order to actually fire and enable the system, we hit pressure control. Immediately, the system will come to life and it will raise all the tires up to that 32 PSI. So we'll come back to you once it's there. There we are. So we're up at our target pressure. System shuts off. It's good to go. From there, you can turn it off, disconnect your hoses, be on your way. And you can come in here and you can adjust the pressure uh, every single time if you want something a little bit different. Or what you can do is you can um, set presets. So in the settings portion of the app, there are four presets that you can, uh, you can set. So on preset one, I want uh, about 35 PSI for the highway. So I'm gonna dial that up to 35, name that the highway preset. I also want a city preset with a little bit lower tire pressure just to make going over those potholes a little bit more comfortable. For the city boys, we're going up to 30. Now, if we go back to the main screen, you'll see um, at the top here, we have presets that we can set. So um, I'm looking for the city setting. So I'll tap that and you'll hear the system will actually start purging out pressure. So we've tested the system. We know that it works. We don't hear any leaks. Um, we're going to secure up the wiring harness with the cable ties that you get in the kit um, and then we're going to reinstall the seat. So we'll do that quickly and then uh, that's about it. Looking for an epic Jeep? Give us a call.